everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a fall fashion haul for you I have both clothing I have some jewelry I have a couple handbags which is super exciting so this season I've really started to focus or not started to I guess I've kind of come to the approach of more um, building key pieces into my wardrobe that are classics that can last stand the test of time so classic neutral colors classic textures basic pieces stuff like that so if you're interested in seeing kind of the updates I'm making to my wardrobe and jewelry then go ahead keep watching so keep in mind these pieces I've purchased not all in one trip this is about a month or two worth of kind of exploring the stores saving my money figuring out what exactly I want to spend it on I'm going to start with clothing the first piece I have is a recent addition that I picked up at Target and it is this blazer it is a black basic blazer but you can see the kind of the piping or the trim is a faux leather and I just think it's a really cute cool update for your classic um, for your classic piece it looks great on it has a little bit of shoulder pads and structure um, and it just it feels really nice a blazer is great both for the work environment you can wear it out to post work drinks if you want to it can dress up a weekend outfit um, for running errands you can wear it to gosh to dinner out for a date it's just great and so versatile you can wear this with jeans and a t-shirt you can wear it with um you know a skirt for work anything like that so a blazer is great to have in your wardrobe moving on to another classic piece i have picked up the classic black leather jacket and this is by blank nyc this is a faux leather jacket um, i've worn this on my blog if you're curious to see what this looks like but i just love all of the details here on the sleeves it's kind of got this scrunching it's extremely warm very comfortable it has like a buckle up here towards the top and the zip is actually asymmetrical but it just drapes beautifully it fits amazingly across the body it is so soft the sleeves on the back side are actually like a stretchy um, thick sweater material so they stretch they're very comfortable and warm so you can kind of see here how they stretch really really nice this price point I believe was $98 so it's a great for a faux leather piece if you follow my blog you'll also see that I um, purchased like a merlot or burgundy jacket from the same company from nordstrom i ended up returning that just because i was unable to afford both pieces and i figured that black was more the way to go black i can wear season to season for many years to come um it's just a great staple piece that i didn't have in my wardrobe versus um i might get a little more sick of burgundy leather so that's why i got the black one and I'll have links to all these pieces um, below. If you're curious if I can find them online, I will um, mention everything below, even if I can't, at least the store where I purchased it. So hopefully you can have some luck finding it. Sticking with leather, I have been obsessed this year. I think my obsession started about two years ago when I purchased a leather pencil skirt from Nordstrom. Um, and then last year, leather just kind of exploded. And this year, I feel like it's almost even bigger into the fall scene. So I picked up this faux leather dress from Nordstrom and this is by the brand Aster, A-S-T-R. It's a sleeveless leather dress, so you can wear this alone with a jacket over or even with a shirt underneath and have it be um, like little sleeves or long sleeves underneath. This is just a leather shift dress. This was on sale for $35, which was great price point. Um, and I just love the zipper in the front, so you can either wear it kind of all the way up or if you want to make it a little bit edgier or different, you can unzip a little bit so I just love it this is very soft very black um, and just a basic fun piece to kind of update my wardrobe with my recent leather obsession speaking of dresses I picked up the perfect little black and white dress I saw this originally on um, Carly Christman's video from anthropology and knew the second that she showed it I had to purchase it so I did right then and there um, this is by the brand Eva Franco and it is a black and white dress here's the top it's just a very conservative neckline and then it flows out into almost like a little skater skirt that's very pleated it's extremely thick very very well made and um, I absolutely love just kind of the ruching detail this the fact that it's a white panel and black on the sides is very slimming to the top of the body and the waist here um, 
and then the back is just plain black with the stripes on the back so this um dress was was expensive but it's a piece that is very well made very thick warm and stripes and black and white is um I guess a color combo or a pattern that really never goes out of style it's very classic so I was willing to spend a little bit more money on a piece like this now if you follow my blog you know that I am a huge chambray addict I love denim shirts I can't get enough I have kind of a really really light wash I have a medium wash that I picked up last summer and now this finally fall I picked up a super dark chambray denim this is from j crew i love j crew's clothing i think it's very well made and just the darkness of this it's very rich and luxurious looking i think this is great an update for fall just because i wear mine all the time um, chambray you can really wear with anything i could wear it with this scarf over it um, and some, um, some colored jeans you can throw this over a dress as kind of like a little overlay or a jacket i mean you can wear chambray so many different ways so um, i highly recommend investing in one that is um, really great quality and if you want to go for something darker for the season j crew is a great place to do so starting to move away from clothing into the more accessories i'm going to show you this faux fur snood i guess you might call it from um american eagle it is reversible so if you want to wear it on the kind of faux fur side which is probably how i'll end up wearing it it's like this or you can reverse it and wear it as um, like this gray chunky knit. So I love this. I purchased this on Poshmark. If you guys don't know what Poshmark is, it's basically a community of women who love to um, sell. Basically, you can shop people's closets. So if you're ever curious where I sell clothes that maybe I just don't want anymore or I've purchased too many things, I need to get rid of things, I would check out my Poshmark closet. So I'll be sure to leave that down below. Um, so I purchased this on Poshmark for under $30 which was great and it's brand new it still has um, the tag on it it hasn't even been worn but I wasn't able to find this in store so I was so glad to find it on Poshmark I think this will be great both in the fall and the winter just very cozy once again it's reversible so it's really really versatile and it's a neutral color so it goes with absolutely everything Sticking with accessories, I'm going to move on to jewelry. I picked up this necklace at Ann Taylor and I am just in love with it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a gold hardware chain and the um, links are alternate kind of faux pave diamonds and a tortoise. I just think this is so gorgeous. I couldn't even help myself when I saw it and I had to have it. So it's just a beautiful necklace, lays wonderfully, um, and it looks very expensive and just very on trend and um, beautiful on. It can just dress up anything from a plain white t-shirt to it would go great with the black and white dress to kind of add a little bit of um, print mixing and visual interest. I really don't think you can go wrong with anything pave. You'll see from my um, other pieces that I purchased that have kind of been on like a pave kick recently. Two pave pieces that I picked up from Bobble Bar. This is their rose gold link bracelet and I absolutely love this. This is much more pink rose gold than anything that I own but it is so beautiful. Um, I'm not going to hook it but it's just very chunky and wonderful. Um, it's a great price point. J. Crew makes one like this in gold, but it's more expensive, so Bobble Bar is great. Um, this also comes in gold, emerald, and I believe silver. So if you're interested in something that's chunky but rose gold isn't your style, um, they have those as well on Bobble Bar. And then my last Pave piece is this Pave diamond, um, I guess like not like a bib necklace but something along those lines it's just very very great once again to dress up just a plain white t-shirt you can wear this to work you can wear this after work on the weekends um you can dress it up casually you can dress it up more um elegant looking but i just love this piece i wear this necklace all the time once again from bobble bar and my last piece of jewelry I've been wanting for a while, if you followed me for a bit, you know that I'm really into masculine watches. Um, they always have kind of a girly detail like a, um, I guess, pave, once again, the pave diamond face or a mother of pearl face or something along those lines. But I always like my mask my watch is to be very masculine and kind of chunky and larger so this season I decided to step out of my box and purchase something a little bit different and this is the Kate Spade bow watch this is a rose gold um, watch that is shaped like a bow 
and it is very delicate um, and just very girly and simple on the wrist. I absolutely love this piece. Picked this up not too long ago at Nordstrom. They have this in gold, silver, rose gold, and I believe like like a black and gold or a black and white. Um, I know it's on Nordstrom.com, so I will just link that below for you guys if you're curious. But this is what the watch looks like on. Um, it just has that little bit of wideness to make it seem more um, large if you're kind of in that transitional phase of going from a large watch to a small watch it has the kind of angular features to help take up more space on your wrist so it feels that way um, but I love I love rose gold absolutely love this piece I just think it's adorable now the final two things I'm going to show you are bags if you know handbags are kind of my weakness a little bit so um, these I both got for a great deal and I'm really excited to show you so the first one I got is from Ann Taylor and it is their kind of executive zip toe. I absolutely love this. The zippers, you can zip um, all the way up or down to kind of expand expand the bag like this if you want. It's very Philip Lim-esque, reminds me of his um, 3.1 Poshly bag, which as you guys possibly know, I, it wasn't for me. I didn't like the flap, so I returned it. So the zips give me the same feel, but I love that I can just get in and out without having to um, go in that giant flap. So this comes in black and navy. I purchased the black with the gold tone hardware. Um, it just has a magnetic snap across the top that you can open, and then it has a pocket inside. And other than that, it's just kind of free flowing. It's absolutely huge. If you're looking for a great work tote something to carry um, file folders in if you have to carry your laptop like I do um, this bag is great it's real leather it's extremely soft and I believe it's $98 um, but I got mine for around 40 on major major sales so Ann Taylor has great sales if you use coupons and watch their coupon codes um, you can get things for a really really great deal so I got this bag for about 60% off which is awesome and then last but not least, speaking of Philip Lim, I picked up a Philip Lim for Target little mini handbag. This looks very much like his Poshly, but once again, it just has a zipper across the top, so very easy to get in and out of. Um, you guys know that I like my Rebecca Minkoff Max a lot, so this is a great alternative. It's a wonderful size for going out. You can fit your phone in this pocket. It's just a magnetic closure here on the outside, or keys or something small that you want to have access to. And then the the top zips closed so um, inside there is a zip pocket right here and then there is a little pocket on this side as well if you want to stick some stuff in um, this is not real leather this was $35 at Target um, but I absolutely love it the crossbody strap is a little bit long for me I will admit but um, I think it's a great price point and just a super super cute bag so that is everything for my fall haul. I feel like I talked forever and that was a lot, but I hope you guys enjoyed, got some ideas. Let me know in the comments below things that you've picked up for your wardrobe this fall, anything you think that I'm missing um, in my wardrobe that's necessary for this season, let me know. Um, if you have video requests, also be sure to leave those in the comments down below. Um, come visit me on my blog, which is crushingonclothes.com. I make sure to post fashion outfits and ideas about three to four times a week there, so come say hi over there. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!